Back with twin and them tight shit. Tight shit. Bugsy Malone. War mode. Y'all told me to react to this nigga song. Because I was interested in like the situation where the dudes broke into his crib, yada yada. And, you know, this is a song that he's kind of talking about this situation. Off the rip. I scratched like the outside of my nose with my thumb so y'all can see. Off the rip. Um... Just based off his last freestyle I did of him, um, like he's tough. Like he reminds me of like like I said the hardcore hip hop. Like he has energy in his songs. Like shit. Like a lot of rappers now don't really have the energy. They're more like cool, chill out type shit. They want you to vibe to it. This nigga wants you to. This nigga wants your attention. Like when he raps to me, like he he wants you to listen to what he has to say, and he's very energetic rugged with his bars like just hardcore hip-hop to me um or hardcore hip-hop influence to me well i do i think like like i said before like you don't you don't have like he's i'm guessing you're doing pretty well in life just like i don't know no cars are in it or not but just just based off the numbers and like the attention he gets he's gotta be doing pretty well in the rap scene in uk type shit so he don't have to break in the american scene like well, but just based off because I'm American type thing, and you know, I I know what American niggas like and listen to type shit. Do I think he's going to kind of get a break in the American scene? Mm, hardcore hip hop not in right now. I'm um, sorry to say, um, it's a hell of a lot of rappers that's good at rap that's in that type of genre. But do they get the attention they need and deserve? No, fuck no. You got all the skills in the world as a rapper, but if you don't have that it factor or like the shit that the kids are listening to or people listen to now, you ain't gonna really get the shine you deserve. But you know, as long as you got your lane, got your fans, make your money, I mean, you really can't complain too much. And please don't switch up your style, try to fit the American scene. Like this shit watered down. I'll, I'll probably make a video on that shit, like the Tyler Creator. Uh, the Tyler Creator uh, interview type thing, where he particularly, like, he specifically said some about uh, rap being different. Um, I'll probably play a clip of it in there. I'm, I'm making a video of it because I got some shit to say. And I don't know if I want to get political or make a video about uh, it'd be political, but not really political. It's about rappers and politicians being with rappers during certain times of the year. Um, Scratch my nose like this again, so y'all can see it. But yeah, this is about Muxy. Um, I said Muxy, Bugsy Malone. We're gonna jump into it. What's emergency? Yeah, hello. Uh, uh, we've got three men outside attacking the house, and at my son's house. Three males? What? Grown men yeah. or just teenagers? Grown well, men. Okay. Well, I only saw one of them that came. This down. like the CTT, CCTV the footage. What it, the sound was at the side. Of the Oh, look, they're here. They're here. It's causing a load of trouble. Wait, that nigga took his shirt off. That nigga, the day when this all fits, because that nigga got the car immediately and took his shirt off and started running towards the action. Like, I don't know what big niggas and taking their shirt off, they getting them superpowers, my nigga. But to me, if a nigga break into your crib, more than likely he got a weapon. If a nigga break into your crib with only straight hands, he's fucking you up. Because he he has God-given faith in his hands. Usually the niggas have a weapon. Usually the weapon in UK, I, I don't see them niggas breaking in with guns. America, they got guns. Like they breaking in with some big shit though. Just in case they have to use it, they 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 gonna hit you with some shit that you ain't surviving with. UK niggas, more than likely, y'all niggas have knives, butter knives, snake, like, zombie knives, ah, shit like that. I guess a gun, that t-shirt ain't doing shit. Like, you might as well take a shirt off. I ain't gonna hold you. That t-shirt probably ain't doing shit. With a knife, I would more likely keep my t-shirt on for the sole fact, like, it might provide, like, it's not gonna provide a lot of protection, but it might provide some protection when a nigga, like, if a nigga doing this to you, more, it gotta, got to, you gotta go through the t-shirt first. So maybe it kind of slows the blade down, allow you to go and jump back a little bit. If you nigga slash you a little bit, maybe the blade kind of, you know, it snags on the blade, or maybe it cuts you a little bit, but still like the the, the shirt's gonna like you gotta cut through the shirt. First. Either way, you got to go through the shirt first with the with the blade. 
with a bullet, that's that, that, that shirt turned to paper real quick. So I would have kept my shirt on. This nigga in there, he ran to this shit like he was a Black Panther. Like he was like, oh no, nah, niggas got me fucked up. Like he ain't hesitate to run either. He just ran. Are they back again? Hello. The bitch is just like, what did the bitch run for? Whose real name is Aaron Davis appeared at Manchester Crown Court today, charged with two counts of inflicting grievous bodily harm. The court heard. Wait, <laughs> y'all broke into that nigga crib, and he fucked y'all up so bad that he had to go to court for it. Nigga, y'all failed. <laughs> y'all, y'all broke into that nigga crib. Y'all failed, nigga. Punched two strangers and broke their jaws. Damn. He wrongly believed that they'd intruded and attacked his home in Ramsbottom. Mr. Davis denies the charges. The trial is continuing. Damn. Yo. Boxing Malone, 21. Bama. I'm going into war mode and that means I'll do what the fuck I want to yeah. And I'm on some I don't give a fuck who it belongs to yeah. Track star, you wanna see the Lizzie that I run through I'm a rap star now but I'm a don to DB, I'm not a driller but I've left man open Leaking, wow. terrorist the way I've had my parents Screaming, brandishing my flicky in the shrubs Steaming, when I snap I see red like I'm possessed by a demon Always been a nigga that can dress clean Rubbing every day I will finesse Weed, never knew when I would see my next Dream cutting nightmares had the nigga stress. Now they're telling me I'm blessed for you listening to an ex thief. Loyal for my killies, I was sweat. Bleed. Nah, this shit suffer. He flow on that shit. I'm telling you, this nigga can rap. Like, I'ma give it to him. He can rap. The beat is a it's a hip hop, pure hip hop beat. I ain't gonna hold you. Like hip hardcore hip hop. Like you hear the mm, like it's that's tough. Like I don't see a lot of niggas rapping on that shit. I don't see a lot of niggas these days choosing beats like that <laughs> because it doesn't fit the norm mainstream rap nowadays. It's the same car I put in last time. You know what I mean? That may be his car. Like, if this, if this is his car, bro, he's doing well. He dressed like the fucking Riddler, though, right now. But, yeah, he dressed like the Riddler like a motherfucker. Is it cold right now, some shit? It's cold outside. You got a drop top. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know whether that's, like... Like it's health conscious type shit. Like, I don't know if he just really. He, you want to be cold? Then nigga, like, damn, it, it, it looks good to be flashy. I mean, it suffers. It, you got to suffer to be flashy type shit. So I'm going to put this coat on type shit, but leave the drop top when it's snowing outside. Like. That nigga matched this damn piggy man right here. Victory lap, what? Taking me back huh? tonight's in the trap. Watching my older body nasty in a rap battle on the corner of Because if they burst in flush it, I have to bake it, sold it, let it boil, don't wash it. This class said you need to buy the clover. And if you see feds hit a fence and use the bushes as a caution, it gets filthy when you're getting dirty. Yeah, yeah, don't believe that. Like, you see the feds, nigga, this surrender, like, ain't gonna run, it's gonna make it worse. You're gonna piss them off at that point. Like, that nigga said hit the bushes. Like, nigga, the bushes? You might as well hide under the bed at that point, nigga. Those niggas already, they more likely than seeing you. They're more likely to scan, like, scan the area type shit. They're more likely got some type of drone out there. They might pull a helicopter. Fans got money. They might put some dolls in your, like, nigga, bro, like, this, <laughs> give it up. You lost. Like, if the fans hit your door, you ain't see them niggas coming a mile away, nigga, you lost. Give it up. Nigga say hit the bushes. Nigga, go hide under the bed at that point, nigga. <laughs> you playing hide to go seat at an amateur level. <laughs> Morning fucking with these hood rats. Huh? You're serving scum bags, you better pray you run fast. Huh? Cause the guilty means you'll do time, you'll never get back. Huh? So if one of games until you're in a cage, yeah. nobody tells you the jail's full of regrets. Nah. I'm on the phone telling him I want the rose gold. Richard Millie with the baguettes. Huh? You're loyal to your soil. You think niggas are real till they start sending dick pictures over to your ex. And your holders are certified. Till you hit the block years later in a C class Mercedes and you're mortified. The same nigga that taught you to cook a rock, told you to bag it up. Looking like a Independence means you great be smart, huh? These rappers are following the leader. I get the new Louis when it's just in like E bar. And now the petty tank six leader. Before Cali, we we had haze. Ownership is how we get paid. I'm looking at mansions, no, you nigga don't play. I got the statue made in Italy like it's a Bolognese. Watch this look. I'm about to sell out the arena in my city. I'm like the pipe pipe of the way that he walk with me and don't listen to a word the paper say. Cowan is the castle, nobody fucks with me in the streets. 
I believe the whole whatever, <laughs> whatever that newspaper article said, the way that nigga walked back, like he walked back, like whoo, mission done. Like he, like he terminated some niggas. Like he broke both of y'all. Like nigga, I, I maybe they were fans and maybe they just were trying to take a picture type shit. But maybe he knew was some other shit and kind. Of, well, if a nigga break into your crib, the crib probably be a safe haven. More than likely, it sounded like his mother was there. He may have a girlfriend. He may have a son that lived there. Something like that. Some family member there, or at this, or in general, like it's supposed to be the place you go to to feel safe and at home. If a nigga tried to interrupt that, then I understand if you go crazy, especially if you have a gate and shit like that. But obviously, mean to keep niggas out. If a nigga's like just disrespect you completely and you feel threatened tight shit, just. You know, you never know what niggas might do. I understand why he used force. Like, in America, preferably, well, specifically in the South, them niggas dying. You break into a nigga crib you want to in the South. Niggas, like, they probably want to open the door and do, like, the, you know, they have the camera and all this shit. Like, more, if you, if they're not expecting you or they hear some shit that's kind of like somebody breaking anti shit. Nigga, they sending the fucking knots. They sending two shots to the door frame at least. <laughs> and after that is it. Like, if you still try to break in after two shots, nigga, they gonna release the whole clip. Like, so, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you trespass, you trespass on private property, that nigga is more than likely scared. He's gonna defend himself and his family. Like, I don't blame him. You got a broken jaw, it's elite. Like, you should be happy you're alive at that point, nigga. Like, UK, UK lost and saved y'all niggas. Because if he had a gun, he probably would have shot y'all niggas. Drake. Drake. the Asian nigga. That nigga got leading from um. Yeah, that nigga like Leland from um RDC. Look at that nigga. That nigga. Just like Leland. When we finish in September, I've got the Scottish and Irish pulling up on boats like they're pirates, lions and tigers. Hey, I'm angels? with riders. Any disrespect will decorate your front door with the bottom of our Nikes. You're listening to a monarch. I'm British and I'm proud. Always give my blood, sweat, and tears to the crowd. God save the queen, because she's the head of state. I was banging on my adversary with an empty plate. Then I got myself a full chicken with the perinade. Pray to the gods for better days. Only do it if it gets you paid. Manchester to the death and home of the brave. This is that great British shit because I was born here. Learn to kick a ball I remember Paul Gascoigne with three lions on his shirt. Lay on the floor with his arms in the air. Just celebrating the victory of warfare. Greatness running through my veins. On these cold English streets is where I learned to play the game. I learned to break a kilo to 36, 28. And I'm decapitating rappers like I'm fucking Henry VIII. Books him alone. 21. Done that nigga did a acapella. <laughs> that nigga, that, 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 that nigga tough. That nigga did a acapella. But <clears throat> it's tough. Like, that, this shit, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna hold you. This shit was hard. Like, <clears throat> like I didn't really hear a lot of details about what was going on. He mostly was sounding like regular rap song to me. Like, you know, he talked about it a little bit, what was going on. Mostly, I mostly learned what was going on through videos, like intro to the video, little bits between. Um, but for the most part, uh, I don't really know if the niggas were fans or oppositions. Um, yes, I used the proper terminology. Um... Don't know their intentions were. Maybe he couldn't really talk about it like that. Maybe he kind of briefly could mention the facts of the case at the time. But I don't know whether he got you know convicted of it. Well, I don't. Well, I don't know if, if the case was going or the trial was going on or the case was going on at the time. Either one. He really couldn't speak on it because he didn't want to fuck whatever he had going on up. Or maybe like he did speak on it a lot and I just mixed it. I missed the hell out of that shit. <clears throat> but y'all comment down below if I missed it or if I got it right. Um, but yeah, 
you know, spoke about um his upcoming. Um, I can understand why he said some of the stuff he said because maybe he just like trying to justify like why he did it or the reason why he thought some shit was going on because the way he was raised, what he seen, the life he lived, um, you know. And I can also see him saying like, yo, I could have. Like I said before, I could have really popped them niggas and killed them niggas, but, you know, I'm doing well in life type shit. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to be a different nigga. Like, maybe, in, like, the Jesus reference to me probably, like, you know, I I can't, like, resurrection or some, I don't know. I don't know what the resurrection to him stepping, like, he, Jesus coming down from the cross. Maybe he's, like, he's trying to say Jesus died on the cross and he came back to life type shit, jumped down the cross, it referenced to him. I still like Jesus being reborn from like the grave type shit. Like I don't know what the reference was. I don't know what he was trying to say by that, but I get the gist of it. Like he's being reborn as a new person, and he changed his ways. That's what I'm guessing. But the whole Jesus jumping down for the cross shit like that and resurrection, like maybe they're different religions, different you know way, different story, different shit like that. So maybe that's how that happened in their you know religion. I don't know what religion he is, but maybe this how it happened. <laughs> So, there, like I said, I get the gist of it. Resurrecting, like, maybe he's trying to say he was to what did this in the past, but I see he's, you know, new, born again. He's a changed man. He just fought them off and didn't really try to cause too much harm to him. But he can't revert, 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 revert back to them ways. I got caught up in that word, revert. Maybe he can revert, revert back to, I, I got caught up again. Damn. <laughs> well, maybe he, he can go back to your ways, that shit. He can revert back, like. Like it changed my life that so every work was fucking me up for some reason. I don't know whether I want to say Lil Uzi Vert or what, but I don't know I want to say Lil Uzi. But yeah, y'all comment down below, you know, if I've got like the a gist of what was going on. Um if not, just say Mo, you don't know nothing you talking about and explain to me what happened. Be like, you got it wrong and explain to me what happened. But yeah, yeah, that's about it, man. Yeah, that's about it. I did Digga D and I did Buzz Malone. Pause. Pause. Damn. That was crazy. Well, yeah. War Mode. Bugsy Malone. I like him as an artist. I told you before. He's a dope artist. Skill-wise, he's out of there. Without further ado.